we just completed an overnight passage from Cape May to New York City. That's where we're going to anchor. You ready? Get ready for some stunning views from a pretty famous anchorage. Then we're sailing up the East River through the notorious Hellgate, along our way to the Long Island Sound. We're passing Billy Joel's estate. Plus, we're getting slammed by a hurricane. Are you ready? Holy crap. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany, and this is Jeremiah. I came from the mud. We've been sailing the world Desert and filming it all for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us on our next adventure. Oh, Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. It's that groggy time of day, but it's time to get excited. Pulling into New York City is a bucket list item for us. It's gonna be close! We're almost hitting this bridge! We've only got 120 feet between us and the bridge! Woo! That was pretty sketchy, hon. Memory. How cool is that? Cool. Here we go. Ready to get a selfie? Yeah, I got autopilot heading right for the Oh dang, Liberty, so let's take let's a take selfie. It. We got the selfie. Don't hit the Statue of Liberty, that'd be bad. There it is. None of us have previously been to the Statue of Liberty. Motoring right up to her was such a thrill. It was so nice to sail by, as well as inspiring. Nothing to do with boating. I guess it's just the symbol of freedom. It was hard not to reflect on all the selfless sacrifices it's taken to become the nation that we are. Especially while we're so close to the Twin Towers location. It quickly became a somber moment. New York! I know! It's pretty awesome! You got Ellis Island behind you. Oh, really? You ready? That's where we're gonna anchor. You ready? I'm so ready to anchor. There's an anchorage behind the Statue of Liberty right there. It's supposed to be really rough. And there's another one right here at Ellis Island on the other side. And it's supposed to have beautiful views. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Right across from Manhattan. We cruised around a bit before dropping the hook. There's a few spots to anchor here. We wanted a skyline view, and the water's supposed to be calm tonight, so we had our pick. Said I would learn to love the space. Right behind that water tower, you can see the Statue of Liberty. Very pretty. Yeah, it's amazing. I feel really fortunate to be here. I'm looking forward to uh, sunset, which is coming soon, and then the city lit up at night. This should be awesome. I know. I don't know how I'm going to go in and sleep inside. I feel like I have to sleep out here. Yeah, you just can't pass that. Right, right? Yeah, I found my happy place. That's for sure. I wish the video was as amazing as it is in person, but we'll do our best for you. Okay, now try to come a little bit more this way. Yeah, now try to jump over. No, I'll go after you. No, you went over the easy side. Watch out. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll take a little cruise along the uh, 
the Hudson there right along the city line. Yeah. And then we'll cruise up the river. Yeah. No, I'm so excited, so stoked. There are some things that, you know, are interesting to see in New York. Um, so I'm excited to kind of see stuff as long as we go, read about it, and, you know, geek out a little bit. But um, I'm looking forward to it. I thought Miami Marine Stadium was like crazy. Background, this is insane. But not usually buildings like just stand up when they let up, so I'm excited. I'm actually gonna go grab my chair and come up here. Yeah. How do you like it? Good. Good. Anything you want to say about New York? Um, no, but I can do some jumping. All right, let's do um, some Daddy, jumping. Yeah. Where was I at four when Mommy said to jump over the field? I don't know, but go ahead. Woo! Sick! We just hung out for the evening. Good company, lovely views. This was pretty perfect. No way! It's your own chair, kid. <laughs> the chairs are a hit! Bella! Yeah, I mean, I told you for the longest time, don't, don't get them, don't spend the money. Five years later, you just got them, and I love them. This anchorage is very exposed. It gets really rolly at times. We were so fortunate to have a calm window for a night. Beautiful sunset, huh? It's gorgeous. It's like a painting. It's like it's beautiful painting. streaks of pink and white. Mm. Yeah. Is this normal? I don't um. know. Is this normal? I don't know. You hear a lot of negativity going around about New York City right now, but from here, in this spot, you can't hear a sound. The sun was down, it was time to hit the rack. Oh, did you know that we installed the surveillance video system all through Calypso? We're excited to add a new angle to our video series. We're at an anchorage right across from Manhattan, as you can see here. We're right here, this is Manhattan, right here. So our next move is to cruise up the East River, going towards Long Island Sound. Now this area right here is notoriously like really bad for current, so you have to time it right, and you need to go with the current. Otherwise, you, you'll end up going like two knots over ground, speed over ground. So, and, uh, and also you go through an area called Hellgate, and apparently the, the currents can be really bad in there. So what we are doing is we're just waiting for the tides to shift. Right now, if you track right at Manhattan, it's at low tide, and it's gonna start coming up soon. Now, these are a little, these are always a little bit like off. The Navionics chart goes off of um, like historical data. It's always off. This is the NOAA site. I found this to be a little bit more accurate. We'll see what's going on right here. This is saying it's still coming this way. We're still at slack, and usually you want to wait till about. Well, I like to wait two hours after slack before I go. So I think I was what I was thinking about doing is taking a cruise up the Hudson on like a coffee cruise. You want to do that this morning? Like a morning coffee. A coffee on the bow cruise. Up, no, like a, like yeah. a sunrise cruise. Let's do Just, it. Yeah, because we can go cruise. You know, get out of the anchorage, cruise up the Hudson a little bit take our time with it waiting for the currents to start going and then uh you know have your coffee and everything and then we'll come back down and cruise up the east river as long as everything goes good sounds perfect right. cruising along the city was so cool it was sweet to see reese respond to the tall buildings reaching for the sky they seemed to be touching it This is Brooklyn. Brooklyn? This is where Notorious B.I.G. was from. Oh man, I'm surprised you're not playing his music. I put it on Instagram. We 
here on the East River, there's a part right here where it splits. You gotta take the one to the left. You gotta go left because the one on the right has a 40 foot bridge after this one. You don't wanna be screwing around with the current trying to turn around. I can't believe how, like, I don't know if New York is massive, but from this perspective, I'm like blown away. Huge. Yeah. And I can smell like different parts as we go by. Good ones are bad. Well, back there, when we pulled anchor, it was really bad. And this actually smells pretty good. Are you pregnant? It smells like clean. No, I'm pregnant. 3,000 miles from home. Trying to say that I will get there soon. It wasn't long before we reached the dreaded part of the river, Hellgate. It's famous for dangerous currents, whirlpools, and more. Even causing shipwrecks before the city blew it sky high to open it up. It's a cool topic to research if you get the chance. We are coming into Hellgate. At one point there was a 10 knot current in here. It is now, they did, um, it's man-made and they were able to do some reconstructing to bring it down to five knot current in here. Fortunately, it wasn't too bad. Just some cross currents. We kept our hand on the helm and we got through just fine. It's a nice calm morning leaving our anchorage. All these beautiful sailboats all moored up. And we're passing Billy Joel's estate right now. Piano Man. I felt the boat swaying back and forth. And I was like, what is going on? We got somebody else driving the boat. Yeah. He's going on. He has a compass heading he's following. 60. Six and zero. I felt the boat going back and forth and I'm like, what? What are you talking about? It's perfectly straight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doing a good job, Breeze. It's turning. It's turning away from 60. Captain Reese. Thank you. Thank you. We're in a, a, we're in a crab pot minefield. Yeah. Uh, we're kind of zigzagging here. Yeah, we're zigzagging. <laughs> Have fun? Yeah. Good. Oh. Oh, I hit the camera. Keep it on 60. I'm trying to. Hello. Hi. I was just about to go through the preparing for the hurricane. We pulled into a marina just to, uh, Brittany had like a, a doctor visit, like a checkup, and this hurricane showed up, and we figured we'd stay. It was like, we're gonna leave today. We were like, well, we'll just stay. It's a good floating dock marina. It's got um, brand new docks. We tied the boat off, we pulled a bunch of stuff off the boat. It's looking like we're gonna go about 65 knots. This storm, it landed in like South Carolina as a hurricane. It's still a tropical storm, but it, I mean, it went down to a tropical storm, but it isn't really reducing as far as winds because of some weather pattern. So we're expecting some high winds. So we're going to relax here and ride it out on the boat, um, you know, I don't expect to have to do too much. Holy crap. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. If it lets loose, it's gonna probably plummet into our boat. <laughs> well, today's the big day. I'm excited to get to the boat today and move on. I'm passing by Calypso, North Carolina. Calypso 2, Calypso 1. They look like they have little penises. Luck on your first cruising adventure. Ah, thank you. Got an Uber to get some groceries and we saw this cute little bar to stop at. You're doing a great job there, honey. Thank you. Ooh, back door entrance. Well, I guess they can go to the bathroom. You ready for this? <laughs> no. They were under the bow already. VHF antenna firmly mounted. It's all burned up in here. I guess we won't be leaving early. The problem is everything's so small, I can't freaking read it. Well, you're right in front of us, it's gone. I found something. Don't 
take me back. You can't take me back. I'm gonna turn north and probably put out the, the head tail. It's nice and smooth. It's clear. Oh! Oh! Make a shot. Lovely. Oh my goodness! How cool is that? Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.